welcome Sebo, of course, commander of the uh, the aptly named threesome. I don't know if you guys have come up with a new name uh, since Chimitkatsi. We will pick a name. We will pick a name. We will pick okay. a name All right. if we if came you to the last next round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And a new logo, a new design too? Uh, we will see. We okay, will see. okay. No promises. We still okay. represent uh, our clans and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so big game today. Tomorrow, tomorrow from where I'm at, today from where you're at, since it's 1 a.m. Correct. Uh, so how is the team feeling going into this one? Oh, we are um, yeah, a little bit afraid. and Don't call it afraid. Maybe like apprehensive. we feel the pressure. We yeah, feel the okay. pressure. And, um, but we did a good preparation in front. I think every will will fit perfectly. And yeah, in our opinion, we have a good um, plan for the middle cap. And then we can see, we have to figure out how the game will rise yeah. or fall fast. We don't know. Do you Hopefully, guys... we can we are able to um, pr provide a good game. Yeah, well, I mean, for the I mean, that's what I'm hoping for as a spectator. Uh, I think you guys are hoping to win this one five zero in twelve minutes and beat the record. <laughs> no, no. But, uh... <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> Never ever. <laughs> oh man! Uh, so it's Herc and Forest, of course. Uh, do you yeah. have any any points that you'd prefer? Uh, do you prefer maybe uh, North Pass? Negative. Prefer, no, no, North Pass. Yeah, we Pass play five? US, and a lot of guys told me North Pass is perfect for us. But in my opinion, uh, North Pass is hard to play due to the fact of uh, a good enemy tank position yeah. in a backyard. And, good good um, back position. Yeah, and. But you have the um, advantage of it being on your side of the river. So there's that. Yeah. But the cap overall is favored uh, Germany. And the initial cap progress is very important. And if you lose one truck due to the artillery or mm. to a tanker, to a tank snipe, it can be very difficult to come back in again. Mm. Especially you cannot operate with red zones. It's an open field in the um, background of North Pass. Yeah, there, there's that there one you little to... broken house there where you can put yeah. the garrison behind. I mean, but... <laughs> You really want to put it there? Not really, because it's open all the way around. They can just machine gun you from 500 meters away. So yeah, I get what you're saying with that. I mean, I remember 38th actually won a game as Axis uh, against the five. So blacklist now, blacklist minus Arc uh, in yep. the HPL. And what they did is they dropped a well, two uh, supplies on the other side of the river went south, flanked across, and cut back with infantry to put the garrison up to attack up the, the other side of the river. Because other than that, there was almost no way to get across. Um, now, of course, I think that was before we had the, the AT gun, so it was a couple months ago. And also now the, the, you know, the Tiger advantage, or the disadvantage is gone too, so yep. another mechanic. Uh, so what about, what are you thinking about the SCAR? Uh, you favor that one? Are you looking for that at all? I think um, SCAR is good for us. Really? Okay. Uh, there are a lot of angles of approach in our view. And um, it's favored in the cap position, is in favor to our position. <laughs> and there's a lot of open field in front for the Germans yeah, yeah, to yeah. enter the hard cap. Mm. And if you are able to snipe a truck, that mm. can be the main important or the main point of this cap. And especially with our artillery, mm -hmm. if we figure out the positions of the enemy tracks, trucks, uh, we are maybe able to shoot one. And if this happened, I am really confident to get the first cap. Speaking of positions of enemy trucks, uh, there's a certain position of enemy trucks when it is the SCAR uh, to push yeah, the main cap. That. that can be very, very hard. Like you, It's so tempting to go straight up the middle there, but there's that, that opportunity that you lose that truck. Is that, is that something that's weighing in your mind if you, if you get that mid cap? Uh, this is... <laughs> We are I don't prepared want you to reveal for everything anything. that can happen. You, you don't yeah, have um, to reveal anything. Give me the diplomatic <laughs> answer. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we prepare for everything. Okay. And we have a backup plan. We um, did an uh, additional planning process to take care if we are not getting the first cap. Okay. Especially getting, uh, against uh, Phoenix. They have a very strong initial push, I think. Yeah. They are good players. They are... A good team that has a good commander, a very good commander. I respect Soul Raver very much. Mm. And um, it will be very interesting tomorrow or today. 
Yeah, off oh, today. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> no, it should be really interesting. I mean, that's that's an interesting point because you think, okay, it's on the German side. They probably have an advantage, but considering that the Allies have the force there, you know, it, especially in that first uh, push, you can like drop off a few machine gunners in the forest there that can just spray yeah. anybody that pushes onto point. You know, if you get a nice north deployment too, you can potentially get a flank there. But it seems so risky. Like I've I've seen even core training uh, try this play. And uh, I mean, it, it didn't work that well for them. <laughs> so it, like, especially if Artie can get on the backside or, or they can get some nades out there initially to get done your OPs, you're kind of screwed, but we'll see. What about the Siegfried Lion? What are you feeling? You think that's an advantage? I've heard Soul Raver say um, that he does not want to play on the Siegfried Lion uh, versus, <laughs> versus you guys. What do you, what do you think I like about it. that? You like it? I've, that's my favorite point. Okay. Um, I think, especially if you have a longer fight around the mid cap. Okay. Um, that's my. I like to have secret line. We have a good preparation for it, and okay. especially with secret line, we feel feel uh, very confident. Yeah, I've seen I've seen greyhounds pull up a steward at the start and just anchor the steward on point there uh, with often man, and I think black shooter or hellstorm in it. And that was very very tough they didn't even die the whole match they stayed on that midpoint and i think they beat uh i think it was blacklist actually a 5-0 in like 30 minutes so that was an intense game uh to watch but that that stewart just did so much work on the midpoint there um if you guys can get across to to the midpoint on siegfried line there's not too many ways that the germans can get to the point right you can have your Go tank ahead. sitting so far back in you know, relative safety, not very easy for their AT to push you if they're infantry and their their AT guns. There's not a lot of angles for them, only two two or three positions for each shot. And, you know, the, yeah. the only places they have to come are like over the hill, over the top where it's very easy to see or around the sides on a flank, which is also pretty easy to deal with there if you get a good deployment. So it all kind of rests correct, on Correct, correct. Especially we are not in a real game. Um, you have to fight hill, hill down mm -hmm. in this case. You are um, very good visible to our um, sh uh, shooters and yeah. tanks, of course. And if we can suppress the enemy push in the center, mm. they need to flank us. Yeah. And on secret, to do a flank, it's very hard. They are yeah. open fields. And yeah, if you can... Yeah, there's no really good position for a red zone garrison in this case, mm. uh, because it's easy to observe yeah. and to cover the backyard. Yeah, I mean, I think the initial fight is going to be so important here for Siegfried yeah. too. Like, uh, the Allies don't have a biggest advantage as they did before, of course, with the reloads being kind of aligned. But that's not going to be at the start. That's no consideration right at the start. That's more a little down the line. That kind of second phase after the uh, for the first seventy six and the first Tiger to come out. What's really going to matter is, yeah, like you said, suppressing that that push over the top in the middle and making them flank you and not letting them uh, get like those AT guns set up because, you know, your armor on the backside is just going to be doing work all day. So uh, yeah. any any final final thoughts about the game? How do you think it's going to go? How do you guys plan? What do you think? I think we are going to fight 15 minutes around the mid cap. 15 minutes. Wow. That's going to yeah. be a crazy fight. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, and, um, are you hoping to fight 15 minutes? Aren't you hoping to take it in 30 seconds? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> if we can, we will do it. I'm but, hoping for um, the 15 minute fight. That, oh, that's going to be a marathon. I uh, think um, we are at the same level. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Phoenix guys are a good uh, teamwork, has a good teamwork, and they have played a lot of games together. And they are very confident in its strategy, especially with a good commander, Soul Raver. Um, and we have the advantage of our shooters, especially um, the main part of the 38 with Fet Fitoni and Cabaros. Oh, sorry, and what was his name? Fitoni? Fat Moody? Correct. <laughs> he has a bunch Don't... of names. He, he's, yeah. he, I don't know how many names this guy has. It's crazy. Due to you. Due to you. Yeah, me? You give oh, him maybe a... me. I mean, I you can't, give him 10. <laughs> I, I can't remember. I keep naming him something new each time. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, they do. They have a lot of good shooters on their team. I mean, you guys do too, yeah. though. You got, you got, you know, your tankers stand out. If, if I've seen yeah. games where, you know, uh, you know, archery has done really well. Chill music's done really well with his tank too. So, I mean, I, I think I've seen archery kill two tigers in a steward actually on, I think maybe Greyhound night or squad line battles at one of the two, I have the clip on my channel. 
He, he yeah. killed one tiger and then he flanked and he killed the second tiger and almost killed another Panzer IV before dying. So, you know, that that's an edge that you guys have. But I mean, again, it's Herkin Force. So how, how much is it really going to count for? But uh, no, it should be. For the mid cap, the uh, superiority yeah. okay. of the tanks are important. Yeah, yeah. But when we go further, it's very hard for our tanker to play, yeah. especially around Jaco Jacob's um, barn. It's very hard to, to well, that's engage a meat with tanks grinder. over if, there. If we get yeah. Jacob's barn and and you guys don't take it fast, that's going to be a, a tough fight. Because it will be bloody. <laughs> yeah, if you don't blitzkrieg that, then the tanks get set up on both sides and they just start shelling and the artillery shelling too, and it's just it's crazy. But uh, and there's always, especially by uh, Jacob's barn, there's always the uh, uh, dangers of overextending, mm -hmm. and due to the that is a kill game, we are happy to win three against two yeah we will take it and we have to think about it of course but then you can't be too uh submissive you know because the pressure will just keep building for you guys too right so if, yeah. you, if you fall back and just play defensive 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 after a time i mean there's going to be so much pressure but uh we'll, we'll see we tried how. it we tried the 10 minutes against SCDB and we yeah. lose it. <laughs> oh, I mean, that stings. That stings. That stings yeah. for sure. But uh, no, I mean, good luck for, for tomorrow. And thanks for, for Thank talking you. to me. And uh, and hope all goes well for you guys in, in the match. Because this is counts for all the marbles, right? This is the one that matters yeah. the most. Um, yeah, of course. Sebo uh, from 91st leading the threesome. <laughs> you guys really need a new name. <laughs> and if you can do a favor, okay, please yeah. um, sure. uh, remember to call not only the 91 at the front. Um, we are a corporation of yeah, three of com course. competitive GR3, clans. And, yeah, correct. And there's a lot of the streamers told us, yeah, the 91, the 91. Yeah, there is a part of 91 where the equal part of 38 and a good defense by GR3. And we are only at this level due to each person and each competitive clan in our corporation. See, you, you guys need a need a, uh, like one name for the team, you know? That's the thing, yeah. like, uh, I think, what is it? Trirex is a three, like I call you the threesome, but it's kind of a joke. Like you, if you yeah. guys had a name, I would call you it, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's like 91 GR3 38. Or 91 38 GR3. I promise we will pick one if we read, uh, reach the final round. Okay, okay, yeah. You said that at the start. I'll hold you to your word. The threesome will have a new name, or maybe you'll just choose the threesome. Who knows? Yeah. If you make the maybe. final round. Oh. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, Sevo, and uh, good luck to you later on today. Have a good one. Yeah. here uh from phoenix team phoenix playing tomorrow in the seasonal versus the the aptly named threesome i think that's what shimit Kotzi calls it i don't know how you say that in german but uh of course it's 91st 38th and uh, gr3 coming together uh how are you feeling about tomorrow's game we're actually nervous we lost our last game against the Finns. okay and we we need to win this otherwise we're out yeah for sure um, you know, you're playing on Herkin as Axis tomorrow. Uh, as a defensive squad lead, are you are you worried about one point more than the other, or do they all more or less, you know, the same uh, when you take a look at it? For the midpoint, well, at least. We're on the German side, so we are preferably the favorite. It's the most favorite side on, on Herkin. Mm -hmm. But uh, the most southern point is the one which is the most difficult for the, for the Axis to take at the beginning it's closer to the allies so yeah. i guess that's probably the the one we are most worried about mm -hmm. yeah that's uh the secret line yeah it's it's an interesting point i think i was talking to soul and i said that i don't think it's as op as it was especially with the tanks because that point if you if you lose that point as axis before you'd have to off kill the camping tanks and then try to push the point but now you know your tanks have maybe a little more chance uh there and it's not maybe going to be as hard uh but the other points yeah i mean they're, they're more or less even i think the last the, the bottom one there is a little harder for the axis um how do you think you guys are how have you prepared for this game i know you guys lost last week against the Finns. have you guys been practicing uh training to get ready for this one yeah we have been practicing you know you walk through the map with your squads you try and see where you want to position yourself you t find key positions mm, on thursday we had a little training game with some friendly clans together Okay. So we that's how we prepared for this week. Okay. 
And, and how are you guys feeling? Like your squad in particular, your team, how's the mood inside the team? You guys think you, you have a chance at this one? I think on paper, probably this is, from my perspective, it's the, the closest game. You guys are barely evenly matched. How's the feeling inside the team going forward to this one? Well, um, I joined Phoenix later coming from Exodus, but most of the founding members from Phoenix, they're they used to be in the 91st um, Panzer Grenadiers. In oh, Japan. okay. So they're really, let's say, hot for the game. Yeah, they're um, hot for they, the game. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they really want to win it. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the general mood. And okay. Uh, so we are really excited and a little nervous at the same time because we lost the last game. Mm -hmm. um, my squad, sadly, is not playing as a squad on Saturday. Okay. But... Um, I, I will have some other stuff to do in the game. So that's not <laughs> not the big issue. S secret, some secret stuff. It's secret, secret stuff, yes. <laughs> awesome. Any predictions for this match? How do you, how do you think it's going to play out? Whew. I think it's going to be a close one. Mm -hmm. the, as you call it, threesome showed against uh, STDB. How, <laughs> I love that name. How, how strong they are. Yeah. And oh, yeah. they're up for a surprise. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a 3-2. Um, Obviously, I hope for Phoenix. Oh, yeah, of course. I hope you hope it's for Phoenix. Yeah, all right. Yeah, no, I think this is going to be a really close game. If not, honestly, like uh, the threesome Phoenix, two of the strongest teams, you know, you have BST2 and EG, I think, two other strong teams. So it's going to be really sad to see one of your one of you guys, uh, whether it's you guys in Phoenix or in the threesome out at this stage. I think some of the other teams, yeah, there, there's some good teams there, but definitely you guys have been probably the strongest showing so far. So um it, it'll be exciting to watch though and i'll, I'll be rooting for you for you guys uh, tomorrow to see how you do uh thank you for, thank for you. joining me uh general octo of course on the defensive side of things for team phoenix thank you very much all right see ya see ya Sweet. Thank you. do you have a sleeve what's set on your arm there show, show, show the camera oh badass what is it you got a clock at the top it's yeah? a clock yeah and back here it's destroyed okay um there's a skull Oh, it's pretty badass, man. There's roses and uh, another skull here. Wait, how, how, how many hours was that? I don't know. Wait. Too many to count? Probably more than 20. Holy smokes. Thousands of dollars in about 20 <laughs> hours. Yeah. Is, yeah. Are you going to get it colored or, or is that good? You think you that's, to... that's, that's how it will stay. There's still something coming here. Okay, what are that's you gonna put on the on the back side? Something similar. I don't know yet. I don't have the money for it yet. <laughs> oh, it's pretty, that's pretty badass though. That should be like one of your goals on your stream, like uh, fundraising for the the tattoo. I'd I'd put five or ten <laughs> bucks towards it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Uh, anyway, we're we're here, of course, to talk about the the seasonal match tomorrow coming up. Of course, you're playing against 91st GR338, or or Shimit Katsi likes to call them the threesome team. Um, it's going to be on Hurricane. You guys are playing Axis versus Allies. What What are your thoughts on that game going into it? How you um, feeling? I'm excited. It will be a great one, I think. It will be without uh, talking bad about other teams. No, I'm not I want yeah. to talk bad, but I think it will be the most uh, exciting one this weekend. Yeah, for sure. My opinion. I think I agree with you there. Um, it, it's a, kind of a shame from a neutral. I mean, I'm not you know, with either team, it's, it's kind of a shame to that one of you guys has to go out after this. I think probably the, at least, you know, I'd say the two strongest teams are still in the, in the qualification stage. So it's a, it's a shame that you guys, one of you has to go home. Um, how, how do you feel like your chances are in Hurricane? Uh, do you think you guys will be comfortable? Will this be just a battle for the three two the whole game? How do you think it's going to play out tomorrow? Um, we kind of, uh, wanted to go for Hurricane or Hill. So, okay. That was a good one there. The ban phase went pretty well, and I think we're pretty confident on on those maps. I think, to be honest, it will be... I don't think we will go for the 3-2 again, <laughs> like we did last game. <laughs> too, much, too much stress. <laughs> yeah, we, we learned, I think. I hope we did. Mm -hmm. But it will be a very exciting, it will be a very grinding one. The the players KDs will go to <laughs> go, <laughs> yes. go to hell because of those people lying around in the forest. Uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. 
Uh, how do you feel a little better, I guess, uh, with the changes to the armor? Your your armor players, I'm sure, are going to feel a little more comfortable in the Tigers versus before with uh, the the reload timers. Um, yeah. And have you guys done any do any practicing? You said you wanted Hurricane or Hill. Uh, have you guys had extra time to practice on those maps, maybe to get strategies uh, for the different uh, layouts? Yeah, we did. We did some. We did some practice training stuff for sure. I okay. you know specific. I don't. I don't want to go into the specific oh, of things. Of course, but... no, no. <laughs> uh, this will <laughs> be I on YouTube uh, before the game. So if if any yeah. of them are watching, you don't want to reveal any any secrets, of course. But uh... that's why. Yeah, but I think <laughs> the ch the armor changes are pretty good, and mm -hmm. I think Hurt can. Um, two out of the three middle caps are better for Germans, except yeah. for the Siegfried line, I think. I mean, North Pass is kind of balanced, so, but not really, but yeah. Ish, yeah, for sure. I think Siegfried line is, is going to look a little different now, especially with the changes for armor. Like, if your anti-tank, like, so not, even, not only your infantry um, that's on the anti-tank guns on your side of the Siegfried line, but if your, your offensive squads are you know say you go down two three at the start they have some at in them and you can get that fuel advantage i don't think it's too bad now with the reload timers being differently i think we'll see it a little differently like before if you go down two three as, as axis you know now you have to face against those camping 76s and it's just a pain because they can reload faster even if you get the first shot you know if they get a shot within a couple seconds they can still win that trade so it's it's hard but i think now it's not going to be too too bad um you know, the, the biggest thing is winning those armor battles early and getting enough AT guns out to deal with their armor to prevent them from camping. But it's not as bad as before. Um, are you That's hoping true. for a certain cap? Do you want uh, uh, do you want North Pass more than than another cap? What do you, um, what do you to be fair, North Pass would be good. Scar would also be out. I think Scar would be the best, mm -hmm. you know, because of the river. And yeah. we have the, the height and the river advantage on Scar. Yeah, if you can stop their their truck from coming straight up the middle, like if you get that one perfect arty shot that just kills everybody that pushes to the mid, you know, and then also mm. kind of on the north side to stop them from getting across on the north side and pushing up that ravine to get to your back line, then yeah, it can be pretty pretty powerful there. Um, what yeah. do you think for for a final score? Giving giving us any uh, kind of predictions? What are you what are you thinking? Oh, the final score? Yeah, we're going. There. I'd say. <laughs> oh man. I know whatever I'm I'm gonna say it's gonna get memed if it doesn't happen. <laughs> nah, it's, you're good. You're good. Um, I I'd say four one for us. Four yeah. one for for you guys. Okay, all right, interesting there. Yeah, I don't know if I can call this one. It's it's so tight. I mean, uh, ninety one gr three thirty eight are definitely playing better than I thought they would. Just being a mix, you know, mixed team. I thought they would have some issues with their with their communication and. But I mean, they're all yeah. Germans, right? Too. It's not like a mixed European team or like a where they have multiple languages and language barriers. Everyone's speaking German, right? So it should be yeah. pretty easy there. And because of the uh, the the co-op they have, they can send their best players from every clan. So yeah, too. And true, true, true. 38, 38 guys are pretty good. I think the tankers are thirty eight and yeah, one infantry you got, squad. You got chill, uh, chill music, PZ and and Burner Barsh there um mm. pretty good tank i mean they, they've been playing together for a long time you also have a couple other tanks too that are, are very quality from from 38th i think 91st is bringing like commander um a commander and arty and then uh yeah. gr3 is like infantry you know 38th is bringing infantry and, and 91st is bringing infantry too so that yeah. they have the but, i mean then you also have the bonus of being playing together longer right though right it's, it's yeah. only team phoenix for you guys maybe you get some new players in here or there but it's still that same group that you had from before so um you know you don't have a new a newer commander coming in you don't have new people on this on that or new tankers coming in it's the same guys so in the end you mean you know when, when it comes down to it you know it might be an advantage for you guys we'll have to see uh when we get the match though uh tomorrow yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a close one definitely it's gonna be a, a rough one i think it goes three um, two either way it's, it's like either gonna yeah. go three two either way or it's gonna be a five oh because there's just gonna yeah, be that's... The, the, when i was watching 38th play they earlier in the HPL they they could have won against the five five zero pretty easily, but they didn't take their advantages. But with this mixed team, I don't know. It's not the same team, right? So it's hard to say what what they're capable of. But yeah, true. Uh, yeah, I I could agree with you on that. Like three two either way because it's gonna be a rough and a close one. Or or just a five zero because yeah. you know something happens like there's a misplay or 
you know, uh, garrisons get destroyed, airhead, you know, off to the next point, depending on where the points are on the map. But yeah. Yeah, um, for sure. Anyways, thank you. Thank you very much for, for, for joining me quickly for uh, a little interview before the match. And of course, good luck tomorrow on, on Herkin. Um, I think it's yeah. going to be a really good game. I actually can't wait. It's gonna hopefully, be. hopefully you can stream a POV and we can, we can, we can check that out maybe, or maybe not with the commander role, you know, don't yeah, it's, too much away. It's, yeah, that's the thing. I might, but I, I probably won't. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll let you know if I would. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much for, for joining me again. Of course, Soul sure. Leader, commander sure, sure. of uh, Team Phoenix going into their final, possibly qualifying here for the, uh, the, main, the main round with a win. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you, man. All right.